Boys, girls, cats, squirrels, what is going on? My name is Slightly Salty and welcome to our first ever episode of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Nuzlocke, baby. We're in it. We're here to play. I cannot wait to get into this game, so let's get into it. We're playing in English. Look at all these insane characters. I think I'm going to go with this one. Absolutely. And you already know what we're naming ourselves. We... <clears throat> my bad um we're gonna be naming ourselves a little saltine a little saltine look at us change hairstyle and change look what the hell is that about what do we got here going on i'm a big fan of the braid i'm kind of liking how it looks like they put both the male and the female Ooh, look at the ponytail uh, they put both the male and the female haircuts in the gender. Well, at least in the female side. I'm going to guess the male side, too. Um, to kind of try to, like, break that gender barricade that's been going on. Um, well, that's been going on. Trying to, like, break the gender barricade. Um, allowing yourself to identify as either gender or not either gender. Any of the genders um, in the game. Because, like, it, it doesn't really have, like, a male and female going on here. You could cho choose more of the masculine scratch figure um, and then change it up. You know what? I'm actually thinking we're going to go with the typical braid and it looks like we could change our hair color too. Yo, give me some wild colors. I'm like wine red, green, white, oh, pink, blue. Oh, I'm liking the blue. I'm liking the blue. That red is so clean. I might have to go with the violet. Scarlet. Yo. I actually do like dyeing my own hair purple, so we're going to go with the violet. And we're, we can change our look. Yo. Honestly, yeah, let's go with that one. Our eyes. Yo. Did I skip one? Ultramarine. Ooh. Yo, the white looks cool. The light blue. Ooh. Burgundy. Yo. Ooh. Ew. We can change our iris. Do we go total anime? Nah. You know what? Honestly, that sharp light blue looks really sick. I think I'm going to go with the lavender. I think I'm going to go with the lavender. Eyelashes? Yo. Yo. What is going on? Am I playing Pokemon? Am I playing Pokemon? Or was it? It was this one. This one I kind of like. What is this game? I think this I'm honestly going to leave with the black. Yeah, it kind of looks weird. Oh, the... Purple doesn't look bad. Um, the denim blue doesn't look... No, I'm just going to leave it black. I'm going to leave it black. Yo, eyebrows? Yo, we got to get our eyebrows on. Whoa. We got to get our eyebrows on fleek. Okay. You know what? I think I'm going to go with the thin ones. I think I'm going to go with the thin. Yeah. And we can change the color. 
well, we just gotta match our hair at this point. Give me the violet. Give me the violet. Mouth? We could kind of change our smile here. Or our resting bitch face. Yeah, let's just go for this one. This one looks clean. Our lips! The little pink, little bit of pink, honestly. I, I kind of, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Beauty spot. We don't need a beauty spot. Freckles. We looking pretty cute. We looking pretty cute. Honestly, I think we're having a cute day. We're having a good hair day today. Okay. Okay. I am so pumped for this game. Ah, oh, enrollment complete. Ooh. Okay. All right. We got a little bit of a cutscene going on here. While the cutscene rolls, let's talk about what the series exactly is. This series is both going to be a longer format YouTube series and as well a YouTube shorts, a TikTok, and Instagram reel series, which I'm starting up for the first time ever. Kind of tested it before, didn't like it, and then I realized you can just upload to Instagram directly from TikTok. So we going to do that. We going to do that. Um, so I'm going to start posting a bit on Instagram reels as well. Uh, so if you're not following me on Insta, go do that as well. Um, but the series itself, the series is just going to be a plain, simple Nuzlocke. So what does that mean? It means we can only get, well, everybody knows what it means. But at this point, let's just repeat it for good old times sake. We can only catch one Pokemon per new encounter, uh, new route, I mean, uh, if Pokemon dies, we can no longer use it. it. Must be box or released. Obviously, because this is actually going to be my main save file. We're just going to box them, and we're not going to release them. Look at the Palmy! I love Palmy. And rule number three: all Pokemon must be nicknamed. Now, these are going to be nicknames from you guys in the comments. Um, however, I am going to be recording a lot uh, before the first episode goes up, most likely. Well, the first episode is going to go up, and then I'm immediately getting back to recording. Um, so, I might not be able to grab the first few nicknames from you guys, but as I'm recording, I'm going to be pulling up the YouTube uh, video and the shorts and stuff like that. So, drop your comments and I'll try to nickname it after you guys um, as early as possible. But, I've got a couple guys from work that have been asking me for nicknames, so I'll nickname some Pokemon after guys from work at first. Um, but, up, uh, But, up, uh, Yeah, but nicknames. Um... And that's pretty much it. One Pokemon per route. Nicknames. Uh, oh, nickname all my encounters. And uh, Pokemon dies instead. Now, if you guys watch my TikTok content then, and my shorts content, then you know that usually if Pokemon dies, I do a dare. Now, I'm actually going to take a break for this series because I want to enjoy this series. I want to have a nice time. I'm already putting a Nuzlocke on it when I don't even know anything really about it. I don't know what the difficulty level is. Uh, but I'm going to assume not that hard. That Tauros looks clean. Um, but yeah, but I still want to enjoy my time at the end of the day. So it's just going to be a regular Nuzlocke. And um, yeah, if you guys have any other questions, let me know in the comments. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But like I said, I'm going to be grinding this game all day. I want to get this game. I want to get through the story of this game as fast as possible while also enjoying my time but so i can get to other stuff um as well and also have a main save so i can start shiny hunting maybe doing some battles i don't know we're gonna kind of wait and see i always say i'm gonna shiny hunt and i always say i'm gonna do vgc battles whenever a new pokemon game comes out and does it happen not all the time i usually shiny hunt for like the first week and then get tired of it and stop but i'm gonna try to push myself to continue doing it uh, well, as well, uh, creating the TikTok content, and yeah. Look at us in this room. Looking clean, looking clean. Is there too much purple? I don't know. I don't know. Why do I feel like we had a mini earthquake there? What can I do? Settings, what? Ooh, Options. Tech speed, fast, uh, give nicknames, yeah, yeah, autosave, ooh, autosave we're gonna turn off, I heard there's people, skip cutscenes, off, show nicknames, show, everything else looks pretty good, 
Yeah, we're gonna save that. And we're golden. Yeah, but I heard uh, people when testing the game already had some issues where autosave kind of screwed them over when it came to shinies or screwed them over um, in soft locking them, essentially dropping them in a place and then they got autosaved um, to somewhere where they couldn't really get it out. So I'm going to try to avoid that and just turn that off. Yo, I'm kind of surprised with how well I'm doing, um, just keeping up the commentary. I'm so used to recording. Stop talking to Squovet. Let's keep going. Um, I'm going to guess my mom. Yeah, my mom's in the kitchen cooking us up some dinner. Uh, mom, what are you doing? You washing dishes? Like, water's not even on. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I have not done, like, non-TikTok solo series in so long. And TikTok series is, like, so different to record. Because, like, you only really have to talk when something's ongoing or when you're in battles and stuff. So, like, I would be, like, I'd just be sitting there just, like, be, like, who the hell is this? What do you want? What? Oh, my God, she has that? What? Like, that's how I record my TikTok series. It's not constant, constant, constant. It's chill literally laid back only react when like there's something to react to now like i gotta keep up a flow because i'm not for the longer format videos i'm not cutting anything out it's just gonna be hit record record 30 minutes or an hour or however long i see i don't really have oh why am i trying to leave she said to go get my backpack on um where was i going with that what was i saying Oh, yeah. Um, I don't really know how long these episodes are going to be here on YouTube. They could be 30 minutes. I also don't know how frequently. Like, I might post a couple today. But then starting tomorrow, I might tone it down. I've got another series starting tomorrow that's going to be daily. Yes, daily. Um, as well as this one. This one's going to also be daily. So this one's going to be daily on my channel. And the one starting tomorrow is going to be a collaborative series that's going to be daily. But swapping back and forth on our channel. So I'll have one. He'll have one. Um, and yeah, but then this series here, I think I'm still going to have it daily, even when I am, uh, posting with, um, when I'm posting the collaborative series as well. Like, even if I post, like, let's say on Saturday, let's say, I don't even know if Saturday is my episode or his, um, but let's say we post on Saturday, um, on my channel, the collaborative series, I'm still going to post one of these as well. If not two of these, maybe we'll see. We'll see how much I have recorded and gone through and edited and stuff. Uh, but at the same time, you can expect it daily. But if anything does happen and I do have to like skip a day, I'm going to skip a day. Um, but I am going to be trying to finish this game as soon as physically possible. Um, luckily, my weekend is pretty clear. I've got one thing I got to do. So, yeah. Uh, but then again. Tomorrow, I'm recording the Collaborative series all day, pretty much. And then at night, I'm probably streaming. Um, and then Saturday, I'm going to be recording this all day again. Um, but at night, I have a hockey practice. And then Sunday, I'm going to be recording the Collaborative series all day. But yeah, I'm pretty much going to be coming home from work every day next week and just sitting down and recording this. I took Thursday and Friday off of this week just to sit down and record this and get some stuff edited for both YouTube, TikTok, all the socials. Yeah, it's going to be a fun time. Going to be a fun time. Also, I completely didn't even react to the starters. Um, <laughs> wow. I was just, it, I was in my conversation with myself so much that I completely forgot to react to the starters. Um, but we've all seen the starters, and I'm not gonna lie, for me to choose my starter has been super hard. I have no clue which one I'm actually going with right now. I'm actually thinking about asking Siri right now which one I want to go with. Because the thing is, I love Quaxley. Love Quaxley. Out of the base three, Quaxley is my favorite, but I'm not gonna lie, all three of them, super cute. However, seeing the final Evos got me really disappointed. Um, I, two out of the three, I do not like whatsoever. Sprigatito, um, is the one I like the best. Meowscara, 
if I'm not mistaken, that's what it's called. I could be totally wrong. Um, but Sprigatito is the one I like the best in all three stages. Quaxley, I don't like its second stage or its third stage. Uh, but its first stage is so cute. Look at this little guy. The schwag. But then you got the kitty. The kitty, the kitty's a kitty. It's cute. It's a kitty cat. I got one up there. I got another one probably somewhere around there. And then I got a puppy lying around. Then you got a fire croc. You literally have a fire totodile. That's a pepper. And he burns an apple. And then he's going to try to eat it. Because I saw the clip. And it's adorable. But I do love my Quaxley. I love my Quaxley, but I hate the other two stages. Fuecoco's second stage is not that bad. It gets a little sombrero. It literally gets bigger with a sombrero, which is sick. And then it evolves into a balding clown. If Fuecoco literally had a better final Evo, it would actually probably be the one I take. Like, I would choose to take. Sprigatito has the best second stage out of all of them, though. Literally has a grass yo-yo. So, like, yeah. So, I'm not sure what I want to take. I'm not sure what I want to take. And you know what? Because of that, I'm actually going to ask Siri. Sprigatito is going to be number one. Quaxley is going to be number two. And Fuecoco is going to be number three. Okay? That's what we're going to roll with. That's what we're going to roll with. So, hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Pick a number from one to three. A random number between one and three is three. All right. I just screenshotted that by accident. Looks like we're going with Foy Coco. I'm not the most disappointed. It is probably the one out of the three that I kind of want to unleash just because, like, literally, its final Evo is the one I hate the most. Um, but you know what? I'm okay with it. Nice fire starter. I don't really know when I'm going to get Sarah Ledge, and that's the fire starter I really want to use. My other thing about the three that really made it so that, like, I don't really know which one I want to choose is, um, is, um, oh, blank there for a second is the fact that there's a pokemon of each of their typings that i want to use instead we're gonna nickname the foy coco we're gonna go for the obvious nickname i previously thought about this if i had picked any of the three if i'd picked the cat i was probably gonna name it after one of my cats depending on the gender i was gonna go because i have one female cat one male cat i was gonna go either cali or domino quaxley quaxley i was probably just gonna name a mighty duck and this one i'm gonna name chili because he's a chili pepper um where was i going oh yes there's a pokemon of each of the three starter typings that i would literally think i would rather use instead uh instead of fairy coco i want to use sarah ledge it's super sick i absolutely love it and it's literally another fire ghost like why did pokemon make two fire ghosts in the same generation one that's insanely sicker than the other uh instead of quack Instead of Quaxley, I want to use the new Dolphin Pokemon, Finizen. And instead of Sprigatito, I actually want to use Smoliv. Because its evolution looks sick. Um, and I think it will be good. Competitively, I don't actually know where any of them stand. I know the hidden abilities of these guys, uh, which won't be available to us anyways throughout the game. They're probably only going to be available when Home comes out. Just like how Galar worked. Uh, the hidden abilities for the starters only really came out with the launch of home. That'll probably happen here as well. But yeah. All right. It looks like we're about to go have our first battle against Nimona. Yo, wait, what did I just do there? There's a slide and crouch. Yo, that's sick. But yeah, because because there's so many Pokemon that I would actually rather use than the starters, I don't know how this is actually going to go. Like, we may drop Foy Coco later for Sarah Ledge once I get it. Or Charcaret or something, whatever his name is. Um, the evolution. By the way, guys, probably should have stated this earlier. Um, but, like, spoilers are off the table. The games are out. The games are, the games are out. I can talk about the leaks now because, like, we're literally playing the game. Um, but yeah, but I mean, we've seen Sarah Legend, Armourage and trailers like 
Uh, it's kind of obvious they both evolved from the same Pokemon. I think his name is Sharkaret. So I'm not going to go out of my way to unveil the leaks until they come up in the thing. Uh, but like I literally talked about the starter evolutions and stuff. Like the game's out. The game's out. The information's going to be all over the internet by the end of today. Excuse me. But yeah. Yo, what it, did it use Scratch or did it use Leafage? It used Scratch this time, but I feel like it used something else last time. I don't know. I don't know if Sprigatito got le Leafage or if it got a different one. I'm going to guess Quaxley got either Bubble or Water Gun. Ooh, I liked how quick that XP was. That XP was almost instantaneous. That was sick. But yeah. So, I don't know. I just found, I found the starters this time around a little lackluster. Um, like, the base stages are super sick. Like, look at this guy, little, little, little waddle slash march. Super sick. Um, but yeah, the base stages were super sick. The final stages were fantastic. They were fan. Uh, sorry. The base stages were fantastic. The final stages were lackluster. Um, even like I said, my favorite is probably Sprigatito out of the three, but it looks a little plain to me, especially when you look at the second stage, the second stage is sick. And we'll see it later on when we battle Nimona, when she gets the second stage of Sprigatito, it looks cool and then like meow scara looks a little plain it looks a little plain it's almost like they didn't want to go over the top with it but then like they didn't do enough with it quaxley i found they went too over the top with his final it's very just i don't even know it's got a little a, a little much going on i really wish that they stuck with like the ducks theme but with its tail kind of makes it look like a peacock um and just too much too much done this beach is huge oh there's an item over here what's this gonna be master ball <laughs> no it's a regular pokeball oh a pokeball can i catch something here will that allow me skip the tutorial I'll probably have to come back to this beach later on anyways to catch Pokemon. So let's just, um, just skedaddle. I think this is Nimona's house. Also, Nimona, you live in a mansion. Oh, is that an item down there? Ah, oh, I messed up. Oh, it's just my mom. Hi, mom. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah, and then there's Foy Coco's final evolution, which uh, just looks like a balding clown. There's no other way to express it. It literally looks like a balding clown. So, yeah. So, that's just how I feel about the starters. I feel they're not, they're, they're just not great. Not great. The starters themselves, the base stages, absolutely insane cuteness. They got that cute factor. However, the final evolutions, no. All right, so I guess we're about to go catch a Pokemon with Nimona. Uh, like I said before, guys, I'm not too sure how long the videos are going to be, but I am probably going to try to aim for like the 30 to 40 minute margin. Uh, sorry, the 25 to 30 minute margin, but if I'm ever in a battle or a gym battle and it goes on, Poco Bath, it looks like this is going to be where we get our first encounter. I wonder what we have available to us here. Let's shonk the new spider Pokemon. Okay, spit up or something. Uh, Fletchling, Fletchling, cool, but we already got a fire type. Is that a Palmy that I just saw scurry away? If there's Palmy here. If there's Palmy here, I'm hunting that Palmy. By the way, guys, Pokemon are in the overworld now. So how's it going to work? I'm going to allow myself to choose whatever Pokemon I want on the route. Now, if a poke, but at the end of the day, it's still my first encounter. So if a Pokemon runs into me, 
Wait, is this a static? This is literally the catching tutorial. So I'm going to count this as a static Pokemon. This doesn't count as my Pokemon in this round. This is just a static Lechonk, which is pretty cool because we got a free Lechonk. But I'm going to allow myself to get another encounter on this route because this was kind of forced on me. Now, if a Pokemon runs into me, it does count as my first encounter. However, Dupes Claws is in, into play. So if I like, if a Lechonk runs into me after this, um, oh, wait, no, no, I wanted to nickname him. I was going to nickname him either Bacon or something like Sizzly. Sizzle. Sizzle. Sizzly sounds too much like Sizzlepeed. Lechonk is going to be called Sizzle. Whenever I can rename him, I'm, I'm going to rename him. Uh, but for encounters, like I said, I'm going to be able to like hunt my Pokemon down. Whichever Pokemon I want. However, if a Pokemon runs into me, like I'm sure Tauros are going to be highly aggressive and run into you. So if a Tauros runs into me, that's my first encounter on that route. That's my encounter. Now, like I said, though, uh, Dupes Claws in effect. So if I encountered a Lechonk twice or a Tauros twice, um, I can re-encounter. Seeing some balls. Any other balls? Lechonk. Fletchling. Stay away from me. Uh, like right now, I'm hunting a Palmy. Ooh, what's over here? Is that up there? Oh, there's one down here. Right now, I'm hunting a Palmy. I absolutely want a Palmy on my team. Um, that's a scatter bug. Uh, Palmy is literally probably going to be one of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon. Like, right now, from everything I've seen, Palmy is my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon. Um, and there's an, the Electric-type regional bird that we saw in the trailer, uh, like in the cutscene at the beginning of it, flying around. That is another one of my favorites right now. I've always wanted, like, an Electric, um, an Electric flying regional bird. Okay, where's all the Palmies at? Oh, is this a hidden item? Yup, Lepa Berry. Um, yeah, Dupes Claws in effect, Shiny Claws in effect. Even if I'm shiny hunting, I dumped it. Oh, yes. It's probably still 100% capture right here, so I'm going to just throw a ball. What else was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. But speaking of Palmy and Electric types um, and streaming... Oh, Shiny Hunting. I was talking about Shiny Hunting. Um, if I do a Shiny Hunt stream and I find a Shiny, I'm going to use it in this too. Uh, I'm going to allow myself to do it. I'm going to count the Shiny Hunts as part of this. Now, if I constantly Shiny Hunting and I catch a lot before the end of it, then I'll probably only count the first few. I'm going to name it slightly Sparky. Um, but yeah. Also, on the topic of Palmy and streaming... I will be streaming tonight. I don't know exactly what time, but I'm definitely going to be streaming tonight. And what am I streaming? I accidentally ran into a Lechonk. Uh, what am I streaming? I am streaming... Um, I'm starting from scratch again. I'm going to be streaming a Pokemon... Um, can I beat Pokemon Violet with only electric types? So that's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to be starting my first challenge run, and it will be turned into a video after... I've completed the challenge, if I can complete the challenge, but I'm going to assume so. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a hardcore Nuzlocke with only electric type Pokemon. So, Palmy is going to be our starter, obviously, in that, because I, I need a starter. So, I'm going to choose whichever one of the Pokemon to be my... Ooh, let's just kill a Hoppip. Wait, is this like a Horde battle? No, okay. I really like how we can see the other Pokemon scurrying away in, like, the distance and stuff. That's, that's really sick. I'm also loving how seamless the battles are and stuff. That's cool. Also, ooh, okay, I figured out how to open up the map, trying to learn how to open up Pokemon. Auto heal. Ooh, that's new. I should probably save. All right, um, let's, yo, I can press Y and just choose a Pokemon to be my new lead. That is sick. That's super quick. That's super sick. Also, let's check out these Pokemon. Oh, my nose was so itchy there. So their Terra typings are all their base typing. 
Um, that took a second for Pommy to load. Okay, so we got Scratch, Growl, and Thundershock with the natural cure ability. Okay. Uh, Lechonk has Gluttony with Tackle and Tail Whip. Okay. And obviously, Tackle, Leer, Ember, and Round with Blaze. All right. Okay, can I rename Lechonk? No, I want to rename him. Can I change... Change nickname! We are going to name him Sizzle. Sizzle the LeChonk. Beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Oh, where else was I going with that? Oh, but yeah. Mono electric type, hardcore Nuzlocke. So hardcore Nuzlocke, level caps are in effect. I can only get as high as the next gym's level. Um, I can only use electric type Pokemon. Um, if I ever need another type Pokemon to like progress in the game, to like surf or anything. Oh no, everything's done on Mirrodon, so I won't need to do that. Yeah, here's the Pokemon I've caught so far. Mysterious Cry. What the hell's going on here? Let's take a look around and see Rotom Phone. All right. Well, I feel like there's going to be a cutscene coming up. So we're actually going to cut the episode here. Like I said, tonight, I don't know what time. I'm thinking like 7 or 8 p.m. EST. I'm going to be live with a Pokemon. Poke Can I beat Pokemon Violet with only electric type Pokemon Hardcore Nuzlocke? Um, but yeah. Level caps, no items in battle, only electric Pokemon. It's going to be fun. I don't even know how early I can get a ton of electric type Pokemon. So we're going to have to wait and see. Catch me tonight on YouTube.com. I'm going to be on both probably YouTube.com slash Slightly Salty and TikTok.com slash at Slightly Salty um, with the live stream. Um, so catch me on both and I'll catch you then. That's it for this one, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the first episode of the Pokemon Scarlet Nuzlocke, sorry, Pokemon Violet Nuzlocke, um, and I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, stay salty.